Hey guys, what's going on? So as we all know, the hardest part about graduating high school is figuring out what we're going to do after high school. So I'm assuming that if you click this video, you are probably going to go to college and you are undecided as to what major you want to study. So to help you guys out, I have a list here of 10 best majors to study if you are undecided and I'm going to go ahead and run all through them and then I'm going to tell you the one specific one that I can speak on that I truly think is the best major to study if you're undecided and I'll give you several reasons why. So the first major is biology. Now this is something that is really good to study if you are generally interested in the sciences and like more like hands-on learning. With this major you can also get into careers that deal with medicine, research, and applied sciences. So the next major is chemistry, which is pretty much like biology, where if you take a general biology or chemistry course, then in the future, you, when you find out like what you like and what you don't like about that area, you can narrow down to more specific areas of chemistry. Okay, with a degree in chemistry, you can specialize in a bunch of different chemical and environmental engineering jobs as well. So the next degree is a business degree, and this is a pretty common one, and the reason why it's pretty common is because it gives you a lot of opportunities for different kinds of jobs. So having a business degree can help you get into jobs such as marketing, finance, accounting, laws and regulations, and even management. So basically, if you want to start or run a company, this would be a great degree to have. The next degree would be computer or informational science. So with growing technology, a degree in computer and informational science can offer you many, many job opportunities. With this degree, you can work in areas like information security, gaming, software development, and stat analysis. <laughs> And specialists in this area are particularly needed in healthcare, education, government, and many more. The next major is economics, which is pretty much for people who are interested in finance, government policies, politics, international relations, laws and regulations, or education. So this is good for people who find math, history, politics, and current events interesting. This degree can also help you get into jobs within the government and in business. However, some people have said that an economics degree can be pretty challenging to get. The next one is another popular major and it is engineering. So you probably heard about engineering. There's aerospace engineering, structural engineering, civil engineering, and a whole lot more. So if you are interested in that, just know that you probably will have to study a lot of math. The next one is health science, which goes without saying it's more for people who want to work in the health related field. So if you want to be a pharmaceutical worker, a social worker, or even work in hospitals, this is the degree that you want to get. The next degree is English, which actually teaches you a lot of skills that are needed in a whole bunch of different careers. And the publishing industry particularly has a bunch of different career options for those with English majors. This next major has a lot in common with business and that is communications. So a degree in communications can help you get into jobs like marketing, public affairs, business admin, and human resources. Essentially, if you are a person that likes communicating ideas, then this is probably a good major for you. Okay, so this last one is the one that I truly believe is the best major for anyone who is undecided. And it is a pretty popular one too, and that is psychology. Now psychology is particularly good for if you want to work in a career that has anything to do with people. And most people tend to think that psychology is only for those dealing with mental health, and I am here to tell you but that is not true. Most of the time when people think of psychology, they think about therapists and counselors, and that is not the case. Not all psychology majors major in that kind of psychology. And I'm gonna go ahead and run through all the different tracks that you can study within psychology. Okay, so within psychology, there is clinical psychology, neuroscience, experimental psychology, industrial and organizational psychology, human factors, and general psychology. These are all majors that you can choose from within the field of psychology, so it's pretty broad. So clinical psychology is obviously the most known track in psychology and probably the one that you think of the most whenever you hear the word psychology. So a degree in clinical psychology 
helps you get jobs in the areas of mental health, such as counseling, therapy, rehabilitation, and even sometimes in hospitals. The next one is neuroscience, and this is a good one for people who like biology as well as psychology because it basically combines the two. So most likely in neuroscience, you are going to learn about the parts of the brain and the chemical processes that take part in certain parts of the brain and its effect on behavior. So the next one is experimental psychology. And in experimental psychology, you learn a variety of things within psychology, such as how people learn, how personalities are developed, and cognitive processing. This major is particularly good for those who are interested in psychology research. The next one is industrial and organizational psychology. So this is particularly good for people who want to know how to increase work productivity and learn more about the physical and mental well-being of employees. So essentially they study things like employees, group dynamics, leadership, and intergroup behavior. Okay, so the next one is human factors, which can go by the other names such as ergonomics and engineering psychology. Now this is one of the least, I believe, known topics in psychology, so you probably haven't heard of it. Human factors is one of my personal favorites because it deals with learning about human limitations and how to make general daily things more efficient and safe for people in their daily lives. So in human factors, you can learn about human capability and limitations in areas like design systems, organizations, user interface, cars, air traffic, and even machines. Human factors specialists also help make consumer products safe, efficient, and more comfortable to use. And the last one for any of those who are not sure what kind of area in psychology they like best, there is the general psychology option, which essentially you can get a taste of any part of psychology that you want as long as your college or university has it. So not many institutions have human factors or engineering psychology, so you may not get a taste of that, but you can take some classes in other fields and kind of pick and choose which ones you like more. And if you aren't convinced that psychology is probably the best major to go with, I'm going to share with you a few facts as to why it probably is. So while studying psychology myself, I actually learned that only about 25% of those with a psychology degree actually work in an area that is directly related with psychology. So that shows that the majority of people with psychology degrees do not necessarily work as clinical psychologists as you probably thought. So I actually have a list here that I'm going to pop up on the screen that can tell you just a sample of all the different jobs that people with a degree in psychology can have that don't necessarily relate to psychology. So I'm going to read a few off here. So in the column related to psychology, there of course is like childcare worker, corrections officer, counselor aide, daycare center supervisor. But then in the other column related to business, there are other things like bank management, claim specialist, events coordinator, even hotel management. And then in the other areas category, there is activity director, community organizer, crime prevention or coordinator. There's a director of funding, driver instructor, fast food restaurant manager. So this shows how there's like a bunch of different career opportunities for those with a degree in psychology, which is why I think that this is the best degree to study if you are undecided because it can go into so many different areas. Like on the list, there's even like film researcher, security officer, marketing representatives, insurance claims underwriter, program manager. Like there's so many different things that you can do with a degree in psychology. So if you didn't like any of the other majors that I listed on the top 10 best majors to study if you are undecided, then I highly recommend going with psychology because there are so many different options. And most of the time when you have a job, you are going to be working with people. So why not learn more about people and their behavior? Anyways, guys, I hope that this video helped you if you are feeling undecided about what to study. If you have any comments for me, I'll be happy to respond to any of them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. The tag is itching. Why do I keep on doing this? Okay. Now. So with it just we be be
no, what? <laughs> that sounds like the virus thing. Okay, hold on. Biaxi, I cannot speak. No, why do I do that? 